Hi, I'm Mike Rankin, Editor-in-Chief of InDesignSecrets.com, and in this video I'll show you how to install a script so you can run it from the Scripts panel inside InDesign. Here in my web browser, I'm looking at a page of InDesign scripts on the website of Keith Gilbert, who's a wonderful InDesign consultant, trainer, and scripter. And when I find a script that I like, like say this one for transposing two text characters, I'm going to right click on the download link and download it to my computer. I'll save it on the desktop. And if I switch to the finder, there's the script file. Now to make this script appear inside the InDesign scripts panel, I need to place this file in a specific folder on my hard drive. And this goes for both Mac and Windows users. And the easiest way to open that folder is to go to InDesign and open the scripts panel by choosing Window, Utilities, Scripts. Inside the scripts panel, you'll see two folders, Application and User. The application folder contains a bunch of sample scripts that come with InDesign, and the user folder is where I'd recommend you install your own collection of scripts. And if I tip it open by clicking the little arrow to the left of the folder, you can see that my user scripts folder is currently empty. Now to open this folder on my computer, I'll right click on it and choose Reveal in Finder. And you can see that the folder's name is Scripts Panel. Now to see the script on my desktop, I'll hide in Design, and then simply drag the script file into the Scripts panel folder. I'll switch back to InDesign, and there's my script. And as you might guess from the name, you can use this script to quickly transpose to text characters. And I have a document already open where I need to do that. Being here in the US, I need to put punctuation like this comma inside the quote mark. So to do that, I'll put my cursor between the two characters and double click the script to run it. And there you go. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com where you can find thousands of articles on using InDesign and subscribe to InDesign Magazine. Thanks for watching.